Hi guys, PD here. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to another new video. It's the season to be jolly and happy. It's Christmas week. Only a few days left before the big day. I want to treat myself and you guys today with some eye candy. Before we start, I just want to give a big thank you to Meta for my Christmas box this year. They sent me a care package. A thank you card. Asgard's Wrath 2 t-shirt and a brand new Quest 3 512 gigabytes. I currently have the 128 gigabyte. This is going to be very handy for recording content because normally I can put about 10 games on here. I can record all the videos. Then I have to start to delete some of the applications. With the new Quest 3, it's going to give me a lot more room to add a lot more games and to record more content for you guys. So a big thank you to Meta for this amazing Christmas box. Okay, so today's video is going to be a bit of a treat. Normally I like to show these videos so that you can play them in the up and coming UEVR injector mod. Sadly, this is not an Unreal Engine game. This is a Unity game and I've got it working in Reshade, SuperDeck 3D and it is a feast for the eyes, it really, really is. Now one of my all time favourite games, flat games, is Homeworld. This has got a very similar style and aesthetic to Homeworld. I'm going to record this video in 3D so you can watch it in 3D and you're going to get the eye candy. Or you can follow my reshade guide which is going to be below the description in the video on how to get reshade working. Really simple guys. Once you know what you're doing it takes about 5 minutes to get 3D working in flat games. I saw this trailer on the Steam page. This game came out about a year ago. It's just had a new patch. I saw the trailer and instinctively I thought this would look amazing in 3D in a VR headset. Now this game has just been given mod support so there is a potential that some modders might add VR to the game. But for now we're going to have to use the old fashioned method reshade and super depth 3D. Let's dive in. We're going to have a look at the settings menu. There's not really much I can play around with. Full screen mode, resolution, refresh rate, V-Sync, show FPS. I might turn it off now. I'm going to play the game with the mouse and keyboard. I do believe you can play this game with a gamepad. I'm going to start a game and then I'm going to show the uh, 3D working. I'm going to show you my reshade options. So host the game. I'm going for a private game. Here you can see the start of the game look and you can see look generate mod files so this game's open for modding. You can invite your friends I'm playing with the AI. Okay so let me hit the home key. This is the reshade menu. Select SuperDet 3D underscore. Uh, set your IPD. My IPD is 64. And then we scroll down. I've got DM1 reversed. I've got my 3D on 40. Depth map, make sure you've got the flip on enabled, otherwise the uh, 3D is going to be upside down. Now I'm going to show you the actual 3D working. So if I go to depth map view, we now have like a grey scale. This is showing me the 3D working. So the darker the grey, the closer objects are to your eye, the lighter the grey, the further away they are. So if I go into full screen mode, let me just move the camera around. So here look, you can see the 3D working. It's working perfectly. You can see the little ships look coming in to bring all the ore. So this is showing me a really nice 3D depth map. And I know it's going to look fantastic in the headset. Go back to reshade and we're going to turn the depth map view off. I'm going to start a brand new game and I'm going to explain how this game works. And if you're watching this in 3D, then you're in for a treat. Okay, we're in the game. It's all in 3D. Now with virtual desktop, I can use the F keys to move this big giant 3D screen closer to my eyes or further away. At the moment, it does wrap around me, so I do feel like I'm actually inside the game. Now the uh, principle of this game is, this is your mothership. And the uh, mothership is on a path 
to get to the, uh, the warp gate over here. So we need to uh, protect it. But it's a bit like an auto battle type of game. We don't really have much control over the uh, main fleet. We can spawn ships in to help with mining. Look at the 3D on this, guys. How cool is this? This looks phenomenal. It really, really does. So we're going to hit the B key to bring up the buy menu. Now from here, we have the option to buy ships to help defend our mothership. We can either buy the ships themselves. So if we go for like the, uh, say like the Hornet look, we have the option to buy the ship or we can buy NPC. If we select buy NPC, we're going to buy a bunch of AI controlled ships. If I select buy ship, we get to actually control the ship itself. So I've just spawned the ship lock and I can use it to try and defend. We need to take these out. There's one down and I'm on fire and I'm dead. So let me go to buy again. We're going to buy five more of these Hornets. This time, I'm going to let the AI control them. So one, two, three, four, five. And then we should be able to find them in the map somewhere. So I've just spawned these guys. Look, these are coming in to help defend the mothership. So we do have some miners here. Look, they're mining all for the ship. You need the uh, money from the mining to buy new ships. So as you can see here, look, there's a bit of a battle going on. My ships are defending, taking out these bad guys, the red guys. If I hit the M key, you can see the battlefield better. So blue is on my side, red are the enemies. I do believe this plays very similar to like an RTS game as well. So then we're going to um, get some more ships. Let's select the uh, dragon. It tells you here, look, this is a bomber. It tells you everything you need to know about the ships. Let's go for the, uh, the Raven. And we're going to buy some NPCs. Buy about 10 of those. Go back into the game world. We have some big motherships coming in, look. Hopefully my ships are going to take these out. At the moment they are defending my mothership. Once we reach this gate, we have the option to teleport to the uh, next universe. I think I'm pretty safe at the moment. If I think my mothership's getting too much damage, then we're going to jump. I'm going to buy another ship. And this time we're going to uh, control it. Let's go for like the Ranger. And we're now controlling the Ranger. So we're going to go and try and take out this uh, Bad guy here, look. And it's got like auto targeting. And when these blow up, the uh, debris stays put. You can get some really chaotic scenarios where you're having to fly through all the, uh, the debris. Look at this. Now, the longer you stay in the solar system, the harder the game gets. My mothership's on 74% 
Do you want to take these out? Okay, we're going to jump. It's getting a bit dangerous. We are now in a new solar system. I just got an achievement because it's my first time jumping in the game. There's a freighter here, that's a bad guy. Can we take it out? And I do believe every time you jump, it's random. Okay, let me go to the buy menu. Let me buy, let me buy some more ships. We might be able to buy um, one of the big capital ships here, like the Pegasus, which is a carrier. Two carriers. Let's go for some smaller ones as well. Combat drones. Hornet. Ten of those. Swordfish. Let's go five of those. And the dragon, let's get five of those as well. And then we're going to buy the uh, freebie and pilot it. Okay, where's my mothership? So I need to find my mothership. We need to find out where it's going. There's the gate. There we are. So as you can see, I've got some um, carriers protecting the ship. They've just destroyed something. And the game has like um, secondary objectives. Take out the freighters. 3D looks amazing. This game's all about the eye candy and the battles. You don't really need to worry about um, your ships being destroyed. This looks really, really cool. Look at this, guys. So we're mining for money, which is then going back to the, uh, the mothership. I'm going to buy some repair drones. Okay, how are we doing? Okay, there's a big ship coming in here. Oh my guy's going to attack it. So there's my big cruiser that I've just uh, purchased. And these are the smaller ones. They are repairing my mothership. Been repaired lot. Look at the detail guys, how cool is this? Now imagine this as a proper VR game. We have games like Ghost Signal in VR. Imagine this game with a VR mode. So if there's any modders out there, this game is open for modding. Could you please add a proper VR mode? It'd be really nice to be in the battle and look around and see all the battle around me. Okay, this is about to be destroyed. There we go. Boom, baby. Okay, any more threats? I might um, spend some money on mining if I hit the B key. So we can use this uh, refinery fund to buy some refineries which is going to help us. I also need to buy the, uh, the mules. Resource collector. So these are the little miners. And we're under attack again. 
see my ships going in, look for the kill. My big destroyer is under attack. Okay, he won't last long. We can just sit back and watch the battle. There's two ships coming in. Okay, it's getting a bit hectic. This little mine a lot. I can actually mine resources if I want to. Well, let's get another big ship in. What can we buy? There is like a missile boat that I like to use. I do like these little ships. Well, look at the... Uh... Oh, we got destroyed. They killed my mother ship. But well, we're going to uh, rinse and repeat. We're going to start again. This looks so cool. My graphics are on medium, just for the purpose of this video so that it's nice and smooth if I wasn't recording I'd probably uh, turn the graphics up to the maximum and uh, let's watch the battles nice one that's destroyed where's my mothership Big bad guy. We are in the middle of a war zone. Okay, take out this guy. Let's go in. Well, the ship is ready to jump. It's all about balancing your ships. I'm going to destroy this and then we're going to jump. Okay. Okay, new location. Oh crap, there's a big alien. A Leviathan. We need to take him out. He's dead. Is that a baby one? Okay, let me get a big uh, capital ship out. Can we go for the Titan? A battleship. I don't have enough money for the battleship. Let's go for the uh, slingshot. Torpedoes. Okay, torpedo ship. We have a convoy. He needs repairs, look. That ship down there needs repairs. So let me uh, build some repair ships. Uh, what have we got? Camel? Yeah, repair drones. Let's buy 20 of these okay there's a new target missiles away it's another monster lot he's dead kill the baby kill the biter nice where's my mother ship it's over there a really cool fog effect as well it's 
So I don't know where the warp gate is on this level. Or oh, it's here, look. We're close. These guys are going into mine here. And we have some refineries now. To save the little ships going back to the uh, mother ship. Okay, there's a target over here. Shit, look at these little biters. Take them out. Take out the biters, they're biting me. Get off me. That was really cool in 3D. Can I jump yet? Are we there yet? The uh, mothership's taking out the biters as well. Maybe buy a big cruiser if we can. Can I buy like, the broadsword? I really want to buy something like the uh, broadsword. We can buy it. Okay, we can jump. Every time I jump I'm getting like an achievement because I've never been to these worlds before. Look at this big battleship. Okay, I'm going to go for a smaller ship to defend the broadsword. I do like this Talon, the little uh, missile boat. We need to destroy the ship here. A recon cruiser. Boom. We have quite a good convoy now. Sorry. I do feel like I'm in an epic battle. Now imagine a mod that puts you inside a cockpit. Rockets away. Mind the turrets. Rammed him. We died. Let's go for the Titan. Incoming Titan. We need to find it. Look at this thing. This is a Titan. What a beast. That's going to protect my ship. So cool. He's destroying all the uh, ice crystals. Okay, we can do a Star Wars moment. We had the big ship going over the camera up. And this is our carrier. Let me go to the settings and try and uh, make the graphics look better. The only problem is it might slow down the uh, recording for you guys. That's why they're on medium. Graphics quality, let me put on to 
high and then apply the graphics are on high this looks amazing this looks stunning now we have a big ship coming in These are bad guys, we're taking them out. Almost at the warp gate. Incoming cruiser. I could just sit here all day watching these battles. Look at the rockets coming in from my Titan. Big guns. They don't stand a chance. The sense of scale here is amazing. You feel like you're inside the middle of a giant battleground. He's been repaired. Okay, let's jump. Let me check out this map and then we'll end the video, guys. Like I said, I don't know if my recording is going to be a bit jittery now. I like to record these videos on uh, medium or low settings so that the uh, video playback's really smooth. Okay, there you have a Titan as well. Can we kill it? Nice, good job guys. It's like Battlestar Galactica. Incoming missiles. I don't want to stop playing, I'm having too much fun. Okay, we're going to kill the Titan and then do one more jump. Boom, there we go, time to jump. Staging area. I'm being repaired. Okay guys, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a like and subscribe. Be sure to hit my little bell and I'll see you in the next one.
was walking from the, the the train station, I bumped into Paradise Decay, who obviously mods our streams regularly and is like, you know, a huge part of the community. And uh, Doc, Doctor Oculus, they were kind of lost walking around, and I went up to approach him, <laughs> and Paradise Decay thought I was going to mug him or something, <laughs> but I actually just went, in, I just went and just gave him a big hug. Um, so all right, let's go, boys. Let's make the magic so happen. You tried to salvage it. Nathy, <laughs> Nathy, if you want, I can hide your nameplate. Why? Then people can't see how bad you are. Oh, oh, oh. 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 That oh. <laughs> Someone called a fire brigade. Nathy's on fire. He just got roasted. By you. <laughs> 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 Might want to um, Mike. <laughs> why is PD going the wrong way around the track? <laughs> Chips and giggles. That's awesome. His eyes are sorted now. <laughs> yeah, I gotta say, he's, he's, really? his eyes have been yeah, fixed. He should be all right now. His eyes have been fixed. Oh yeah, you're in. Okay. Whoa! Well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ! That's the, oh, PD off there. track. Bully. PD, I saw I was dead. You were running around for me like Steve. Where are you? <laughs> <laughs> <Steve? laughs> <laughs> That's why it was That's perfect. He, so he, he didn't even know he could kill people. <laughs> hey, we're not friends anymore, PD. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> <for> Jack. Sorry, <laughs> Sorry, man. He's, PD's sitting there playing the fool. He's like, how do I get rid of the map? What's going <laughs> yeah, on? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He totally was doing that. I was totally throwing that. What is blissful life to be looking for Steve? <laughs>